Hi, this is More Looms Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to add the lay and the hula skirt and the little accessories to your doll. I have a previous video that I uploaded and I showed you how to make the doll. And then you should, if you are here watching this, it's because you want to learn how to make all the accessories to go for your hula doll. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make her hula skirt. What you want to do is you want to grab your jelly bands and some red bands and I'm going to show you how to make two links you're going to need to make eight of these little sets right here and I made six here but you're going to need make uh, you're going to need to make eight of them so I'm going to show you how to make two together and then you can make the rest so you're going to grab a single red band and you're going to place one here and then followed by the jelly green. And you don't have to use jelly. You can use any type of green you want, but that's what I chose. And these are all single bands. So one red followed by six jelly bands. And once you place the sixth one, you're going to take your single band and wrap it around four times. And we're going to do that again. One single red followed by six jelly bands and then once you have placed the single red and then the uh, six jellies you're going to take another single and wrap it around that end peg four times then you would loop that. So take your hook, grab the capping band and bring the single, um, the little band up. And just loop it forward. It's basic looping. And so this is two of the little pieces and you have to make um, eight all together. So you would make six more of these. So this is two of them together, and if you want to pause the video and make all of them all together, all eight, and then the next step is actually making the hula skirt. So I'm going to show you the next step. If you want to pause the video now and make the rest, and then when you come back you can see how to make the skirt. So the next step is we're going to grab our red bands. And we are going to go using double bands at a time. We're going to go down nine times and I'll loom anywhere, it doesn't matter where. And this is the ninth one. And then we're going to cap that and wrap a band around this peg only three times. And then you're going to turn your loom to the side and you're going to place one of your links on each peg, not the end peg though. So you're going to skip the very last one. You're going to place one on each peg. And then there's none on the very 
top one either. So there's none in the bottom and there's none on the top. And then we loop. So you're going to, once you've placed them on every peg except you skip the top and the bottom, you reach in where that cap band is and you bring the two red bands up and to the peg above. Reach in here and grab just the bottom two red bands and bring that forward. Push these bands back and bring the red forward. Make sure you're pushing these um, the hula skirt bands back and then bring in the other red bands forward. Push these bands back, bring the bottom red forward. And for this project you're going to need two S-clips. So let me grab an S-clip and I'm going to now take my hook and remove this from the loom. This is your hula skirt. And the loop that we wrapped around only three times, you're going to take an S-clip and clip it. And then this loop right here, you're going to make a slip knot with. And that way it's secure and doesn't fall apart. And then you're going to take your clip and you're going to S-clip that. And that's your little dolly's hula skirt. And now let's make the other things. Let's make her um, wrist lays. For the wrist lays, I'm using dark green and her ankle flowers too. And you're going to take your hook and for this, for each wrist and each um, leg, you're going to need five bands. So you take a single green band and you wrap it around your hook only three times. And you do that again with the second set, again with the third, and with the fourth. And then you grab the fifth band, stretch it a little bit. And you're going to transfer all of these onto that single band. Let's try that again. So you take your single and you transfer. This has got to be easier way. I am a little spastic and you just put these all on that band and then you're going to take the two corners twist these around a little so that they look like circles take the two end and place them both on your hook like that and then take your doll's arm and you're going to place her arm through it and then you're going to create a slip knot. Take this loop, pull it through the other loop, and then you should have another loop right here. And then you're going to take this loop and place it over her arm as well. And then you can turn the wrist lay around so that the flower part shows in the front. and you're going to just adjust it because sometimes it looks funny you're going to make the same exact way four more times we can do another one together take a single green band wrap it three a single green wrap it three and this is the third pair and the fourth pair grab a single green band and pull them all onto that single band. And then once you've done that, roll them around a little bit to adjust it. Grab the loop, place them both on your hook, Grab your doll's hand, and 
and then create a slip knot and then take that other loop and place it over her hands again and then it's just a matter of adjusting the bands so that they look right and then you're going to do two more for her ankles and then after that let's do the um, let's do the lay so for the lay it's the same concept as the ones for her wrist except you're just going to use a bunch of colors so grab a bunch of colors you can use two color lay like pink and white or you can do multi I'm going to do the same one that this girl is wearing and so what you're going to do is you're first going to grab two white bands and you're going to tie them together like that and make them longer and then grab your multicolored bands they're rolling everywhere and there is no order you can do any color you want I'm just gonna pick a band and just start wrapping it around so you take a single color wrap it around three a single red I mean yellow wrap it around And all together I had 13 colors, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that's 13. And then this is where you take that band, that single white band, and actually I think I added three together. So you can take your band that looks like this, grab another white, and you're going to pull it so that you make another knot in between them. couldn't figure that out for a second. So I made a knot and I attached three bands together and then you're going to place the band on your finger just so it doesn't come off. Take your hook, grab one of the corners and just start transferring all those bands on to that long white band. And this will become your Hula Girls um, little lay and this does require an S clip or a C clip, it doesn't matter. You can close it off with a slip knot if you want, but I chose to use a S clip. and you can add more colors and make it as long as you want or as thick as you want. I wrap it around only three because it looks more like a flower. If you wrap it around four it just looks too thick. So now they're on and just start rolling them to make them into a round shape. See the green one looks funny. Adjust them so they look like that. And then you're going to grab your doll and see if you like that length and what I did was, I think for this one, I grabbed the, let me grab the S clip. I think I wrapped the white band around my hook a couple times. Two times. 
and then I S clip that. And then I think I did the same with this one. You can just leave it like this, or you can take your um, white band and continue to wrap it around the S clip, and it makes it a little bit shorter if you feel like it's too long. If you want it long, you can do that too and just stretch out the lay. And then you just put it over her head. And that is her little Hawaiian lay and adjust the colors so that they're in their place. And then for her skirt, I just grab my fingers and I open it like this and I place her feet inside. And then I lay it over her waist area and for her hair if you want the same thing in her hair the lay it's made the exact same way as um, the way we did the one for her hand and for her necklace you just take four red bands and wrap it around three times This is the fourth. And then I took a single red band, again another one, and I transferred all these onto there. And then I did the same thing, just grabbed the two loops and Actually, I think I made this one a little longer. I might have added a second band to make it longer, like that. You just add another knot. And you can keep adding um, the desired amount of bands you want. And then I just wrapped it around her head to make it look like a flower that's around her head. So I grabbed both loops. And you just take her hair and you place it through and in the back I slip knotted it as well and then once I slip knotted it I place that red band over her hair again and then I'd hide it and then it looks like she has like little flowers in her hair and again for her ankles it's the same way we did the ones with the wrist so this is how you make your little hula girl on the rainbow loom. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. And see you next time.